Do you want to create a smooth scrolling timeline animation like this in CapCut for PC? Follow my steps and watch this video until the very end. Firstly, we have to add a simple text layer where we'll write the years which we need in our scrolling text. Go over to the right side and then enter the start year. I'll start with the 1900s just as an example for this video, but you enter the year which you need. I wrote the year, then I'll tap on the enter key on my keyboard and just repeat the process until you get to the last year in your timeline. The next step is to make the text a bit bigger and also select a font which you prefer. Now that I'm happy with the text, I have to add keyframes at the beginning and the end. So go over to the beginning of your text layer, then find the position option at the right side of CapCut, and then click on the little diamond icon in order to add the keyframe. After this step, we're going to drag the start year in the center of the frame, which is the year 1900 in my example. After that, go over to the end of the text layer and then move this layer until you get to the ending year, which is 2025 for me. So now I've added the keyframes at the start and the end. Now follow my steps very carefully. I'm going to right click on the text, then show keyframe animation. We're going to click on the Y part and then tap on this little arrow to expand this. Go over to the first keyframe at the left side, then right-click on it. Select Graphs, and then find this Rebound Out option. Click on the white line right here until this blue line appears, and make sure you drag it so that it's in line with the keyframe and it's horizontal. Do the same thing with the right keyframe. Drag the blue line from the right side all the way to the left, and make sure it's in line with the right keyframe. Also, put the two blue lines so that they're right above one another, just like I did right here. Let's check how this turned out. It's great, and what we now need to do is to right-click on the text layer, then create compound clip. The last step in this tutorial is to add a mask over our timeline. So select the video layer, then make sure video is selected at the right side. Select mask then Rectangle, and put the mask over the first year. We also have to set the value of this Feather option to somewhere between 15 and 25, whichever looks best for you. Let's see our finished result. That's it for this video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.